We came to go through the factor acceptance test on the manipulators that we just purchased. And we're just seeing how they're being put together as well as just seeing the operation of them. One of the big things with having an ROV offshore is you don't want to have any downtime. And because the manipulators are one of your biggest tools on the vehicle, um, anytime that breaks down, the whole vehicle breaks down. So having really reliable manipulators is a pretty big thing. All right, I think we're set. Got your little hydraulics. Have some fun. The ultimate goal is for the scientist to have a tool to be able to do their science at depths of the ocean. The oceans are primarily unexplored, so the more we learn about the oceans, the more we can make better decisions, and the scientists need to know that information so they can learn more about the bottom of the ocean and do their science. So as I go along, I'm also checking for any sharp edges to avoid chafing from hoses or cables. So I'm going to go ahead and fire this thing up. Just slow. I just want to make sure that works. The quality that it's going into these arms is very impressive. Well, there's not a ton that we're going to be testing in-house. It's going to be a little bit of training. Everybody wants to see them and play with them. It gets people excited about the project, which is always a good thing to help people get motivated and just take ownership over the whole thing. The manipulators will be used for uh, sampling on the vehicle. So the scientists who will say, can you go and pick up that rock sample or cut that coral off and put it into like a biological box. Um, the other thing is for manipulating tools. You know, front man closes, back man opens. And coring, which is basically just a tube that has a handle on it, so the manipulator will go in, shove it into the sediment and bring it out, and then the scientist will have a full sample of the bottom of the ocean. Knowing that this isn't a risk, I can just put this aside and worry about the other things that we're, uh, we're continuing to be developed right now. I think seeing these arms work, uh, people are going to start realize that uh, this vehicle is a real thing and it's going to happen.